Good afternoon. Welcome to Joe Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for March 5th to the 17th. March 5th to the 9th. Uh, the GFS isn't showing exactly what the pattern is going to look like, but if we look at the rest of the models, the flow progresses into a rather flat flow. You can see it flattens, but we still have our area of positive anomalies here near the Aleutians, Greenland, and Eastern Canada. And we have a trough here over the west and over the western Atlantic. Mars a good agreement with this. We go to the ninth. We look at the rest of the models. You can see this very well. And there's also an area of pause height anomalies across this region here. Um, low pressure is forecast to move eastward out of the plains and into the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley by Tuesday. The system is then forecast to redevelop off the Middle Atlantic coast on Wednesday, and this system could bring another nor'easter to areas that are already being battered by the um, by the current storm here in the, in the east. The system is forecast to deepen as it northeastward into the Gulf of Maine by Thursday. The system will spread an area of snow from the northern plains eastward into the Great Lakes into the central Appalachians in the north uh, in the northeast. Rain and embedded storms are forecast from the southern plains to the lower Mississippi Valley. The northwest will be unsettled with rain and snow from northern California northward. March 8th to the 12th. Here we are at the 9th. Um, we still have the area of positive anomalies here will remain in place. We have a trough here and a trough here near to below normal heights across much of the nation. So we uh, we go to the end of the period, come to the 12th. You can see this pattern. And then we look at the rest of the models. They're good agreement. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here, below normal temperatures for this region here. And the area above normal temperatures are forecasting anomalies being near 4 degrees above normal and then here areas will be four degrees below normal for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation here and for this region forecast um, the probability of occurrence is 40 to 55 percent and we have below normal uh, precipitation forecast for this region probability of occurrence is 40 percent march 13th to the 17th We still have our um, strong area of positive anomalies here west of the Aleutians. We have a trough here extending from Alaska south southward. We have a ridge in the west, trough in the east. And I'm going to go through the end of the period, come to the 17th. And we can still see we have near to below normal heights across much of the nation. And we look at the rest of the models. That's what they're showing. They're in good agreement. So um, the only difference is here that the area of positive height anomalies here weakened compared to what they were back here. So we come to 17, you see they're weakened, but they're still there, but they're weakening. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here with anomalies near eight degrees above normal and below normal temperatures forecast for this region here. And anomalies would be close to four degrees below normal for precipitation. Above normal precipitation for is forecast for Washington, Oregon, um, area of the Ohio Valley, the Northeast and the Mid Atlantic. And probability of occurrence is 40 to 55 percent. And below normal precipitation is forecast for the Mississippi Valley and the Plains. Probability of occurrence is 40 to 55 percent. So that is a long range weather forecast discussion for March 5th to 17th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.